Alan. Alles in Ordnung, Kapitän. Gut, Sie können gehen. Jawohl. Lieutenant Norton, United States Navy Air Force. Lieutenant Norton, you will understand. This is a camp for naval officers. You will be treated with respect to which your rank entitles you. Well, that'll be a change. Oh, you have a complaint? Yes, I have. Why have I been kept out in that cooler for a month? That's a formality. It's against the convention. I'm a registered prisoner of war. Six weeks ago, I was interrogated then. Oh, it's over now. You will be comfortable here. In other camps, they always want to get away. Here, everybody is content. Captain Maddox, a senior British officer here. Well, that's that. Did they get out all right? Yes, sir, just about. It was quite a fall. What about the gear? It's all stowed, sir. The prettiest wiring job I ever did. <laughs> I tell them they never make it, sir. Too bad, eh, Henry? Yes, sir. I reckon that's approximately 950 man hours down the drain. Quite a fly bun, sir. Yes, well, they'll find the entrance now, all right. Track it back from there. Oh, Reed. Sir? Must we have Does Your Mother Come From Ireland again? And what's wrong with Does Your Mother Come From Ireland? Well, couldn't we have something? Scottish, like Annie Laurie. Why not? It's a lovely song. We're having Does Your Mother Come From Ireland and like... Foreigner. Hey, what's the idea? Uh, sorry, Joe, your week's up. Um, seven minutes ago, actually. It's room 13, sir. And that takes care of Mother. Uh, by the way, if anyone's interested, there's a lecture in the dining hut tonight, Brewing for Beginners. What was that item? Oh, hello, Bongo. A lecture. Brewing for beginners. Practical or theoretical? Theoretical. Fitting. Scooby, have you got any chocolate? I'm trading in prunes. Sorry, I'm allergic to prunes. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Very tricky. Hello, Herman. This is an unexpected surprise. Looking for tunnels? Ah, Captain Maddox. Hey, fellas, look what's here. A new boy. All right, Herman, we'll take care of him. Come on in. Welcome to the camp. Norton, sir, Lieutenant, United States Navy Air Force. Well, let's get you fixed up. Yeah, I'll take those. There's a free bunk here, so you're home and dry. Oh, thanks. I won't introduce you to everybody. You'll soon sort them out. When you settle down, just come in and have a chat with me. Okay. Now, give him time, boys. Jolly good luck. My name is Barton, Royal Marine. How are you? You're the best new creaky we've had for three months. How long since you've been in England? A couple of months. Uh, what's the food situation like there now? Jeff, you better oh. get your gear out of here. My name's Reed, Canadian Navy. What part of the States you're from? I'm from Texas. The yeah. Wide open spaces, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So is it true no one ever gets out of here? Now, who can have told you that? You'll get used to it after a while. A month in that damn cell, and now they... How long have you been here? Three and a half years. Three and a half? God. Captain Maddox, I'm sorry to inform you that your recent activities make it necessary to impose certain restrictions. Such as? As from tomorrow, a curfew will be imposed at 2100. Dogs will be loose in the compound to see that prisoners remain in their huts. May I remind you, gentlemen, that reprisals for attempted escape are forbidden by the Geneva Convention. Oh, these are no reprisals, Captain Maddox. They are, what shall we call them? Security measures. Herein. Hausnachführer Schulz, wir den Vorlage gewünscht. 
Perhaps uh, in a little while we may relax restrictions. If there are no more incidents. Captain, tell me something. When you were a prisoner in England during the last war, I suppose you never tried to escape. <laughs> Indeed. Five times. I tried. Well? Sorry, but... Uh... It's all right. I understand. Good night. Who's he going to be when he grows up? He's called Albert. Looks like an Albert, don't you think? Thanks. Hello, sir. All right, carry on, please. Well, gentlemen, we're confined to barracks after 2,100 hours for playing with our buckets and spades. Mr. Schultz is doing it. Blimey, this place will soon be a ruddy black hole of Calcutta at this rate. It's not exactly a rose garden now. Hey, how do you get in on this tunneling racket, anyway? You're in a mighty hurry, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm from Texas, and I want out. Take it easy, kid. Take it easy. This place has its advantages, you know. Such as? You get time to think, time to potter, time to do what amuses you for as long as it amuses you. I mean, you like it here? <laughs> I didn't say that. I just don't believe in exercise for its own sake. That's all tunneling is, for sure. Or quick and clean through the wire, either. The trouble with you is you're all too busy using your backs and muscles to think your way out. While we've been digging, you've been thinking. That was big of you. <laughs> Maybe I have. Uh, knock off, will you? Yes? Angela, sir. Come here, Angela. I don't get that guy. He's all right. He doesn't seem to mind being here. He just takes it. Hasn't got any get up and go. Let's see how much you've got after four years. Well, I won't be around long enough to find out. And that's for sure, cousin. And I'll say goodbye, boy, in case I don't see you in the morning. Well, it really is an excellent likeness. Thank you very much, Ainsworth. My wife would be delighted. Glad you like it, sir. Um, you have a fiancé, haven't you, Ainsworth? Yes. Yes, I have, sir. In a way, you know, it's harder on them at home than it is on us. So easy to let all this become a reality and that the dream. Yes, sir. Are they very depressed about Mabel? Not more than usual. Well, we must try and think of something new now. I, um, I have an idea, sir. You have? It's only an idea. I'd, I'd like to have given it more thought, but now that Mabel's gone for Burton, I... You'd like to make it official? Yes, sir. Well, splendid. Well, look, there's a concert in the compound tomorrow morning. We'll have a meeting of the escape committee after that. I think we've had tunnels, you know, for some time at any rate. It isn't that, is it? No, sir. All through the wire. Well, keep it yourself for the moment. You know, there are times when I wish I could have a crack myself. A couple of fine boys, sir. Yes. Yes, I should like to have seen David again. Torpedoed. That's yours, Hank? Yeah, I wanted in a raffle. I'm still waiting for someone to show me how to drive it. Would you mind? Go ahead. Give me a hand to stow these away, Jim, will you? Sure. That's Gertie, our hidey hole. Everything's safe in Gertie. Even the goons appreciate culture. What? Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh, nice. Bring on the dog, <laughs> Joe? Hey, Joe. Uncle Joe's punked out already. You want to know? I was thinking about the big maple tree in my garden. Mary says it's in bud again. We got one down in Texas. Every fall, the thing just dries up. Only tree for miles around. She got across to see it on leave. Climbed up and sat in it, she said. In uniform and all. She should have more sense. Fine thing for a man to have his wife climbing trees. Young married women can do worse when they're on their own than climb trees. And better. I knew a married woman once who... Oh, what the hell.
a Meunier's knife waiter. Thin and a steak. Yes, a thick, red, juicy, underdone steak. Round the back out five. Across the compound. Under the tripwire. Two minutes. Get them to create a diversion on the other side. Through the first lot of wire. Oh, about five minutes. Young and pretty. And so many chaps who were on age around her. Good looking chaps. If only I could see her, talk to her, tell her it's going to be all right. Preserve us from all harm and evil and help us to find patience to bear with one another in our captivity. God bless all our loved ones at home. Grant that they may be in your loving care this night and always and that we may be safely restored to them. She'll jive, Henry. It won't last sale. Look, away you and help the old man with his garden. You know nothing about ships. You only got into the British Navy because we ran short of humans. I could have joined our own Navy, you know. Your what? The Irish Navy. We have four corvettes and they're lovely ships. Naturally, they're Clyde built. Come on, Henry, the old man. What price a ticket to California now, huh? A fortress. A uh, straggler. Probably been left behind. Yeah, like us. <laughs> hey, what about this going through the wire business? What about it? Well, when you go, will you take me? Look, when you go through the wire, boy, you go alone. Come on, it's time to get in. You are the new man, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Sir. Come from, we don't call any man, sir. Sir. Here, you will obey regulations. Yeah, sir. That is not an ordinary watch. It's not a watch, it's a chronometer. Take it off, it is against regulations. Who says so? Do you hear? Take it off. Keep it on, Texas. Unless you can recite the regulation is against. I do not carry the regulations in my head. You can always put it in writing to Captain Maddox. Come on, we're late. You don't have to be around the bend, but it helps, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Window? Yes, yes sir. Door? Right. All right, let's start. Petition of Lieutenant Ainsworth. By the way, Ainsworth. Well, sir, all our plans to date are aimed at getting past the wire from the inside, under it, over it, and through it. Right. But there's one time each week when we're on the outside of the wire. Why don't we start from there? Eh? You mean the Thursday bath party? Yes, sir. Well, go ahead. It's really very simple, sir. Nine men go out of this room and eight come back. Quite. And there happens to be a count at the main gate. Out and in. That, sir, is where Albert comes in. Albert? And who is Albert? Sorry, I forgot. You haven't met him officially, yet. What the devil's this? So far, he's not at his best. He's only papier-mâché in size. That's anemic looking, isn't he? I shall have to paint him, of course. He's a little bit thin on top as well. I shall need volunteers for hair, eyelashes, eyebrows. Oh, oh that's well. you, Henry. <laughs> But what exactly does Albert do? He marches back in place of the chap who stays behind in the wash house. Marches back? You mean he's got a body? He will have. It's under control. <laughs> no, just a minute. If Albert marches back, he's also got to march out. Then where are you? You've got one too many to start with. No, sir. Albert doesn't march out at all. What's that? He goes out in bits, distributed amongst us. After the showers, it's just a question of eight men dressing, becoming nine. <laughs> oh, brother. But Ainsworth, do you really think that 
Albert here would pass muster for a naval officer in broad daylight. When I finished him, yes, sir. Yeah, but wait a minute. What about this fellow we've left in the bathhouse? What's he going to be doing? You know the disused retreat behind the showers? Mm -hmm. He nips in there and waits until we've marched off. As soon as the coast's clear, he's on his way. Mm. Well, what's the verdict, Joe? Well, sir, anything is better than tunneling the way I feel at the moment. Henry? I'll let you know when Albert's fooled me, sir. Jim? It's worth a try, sir. Yes. Well, Ainsworth, the idea's approved in principle, but final clearance must be reserved until we've seen Albert in action. Thank you, sir. Right, committee adjourned. I think you're flying a bit high, you know, but <laughs> good luck. Nice work, Jeff. Well, it's holding out on us, eh? What did you tell us? Hadn't quite worked out the details. How long is it going to take you to finish it? About a week. Making it easy. It was the thinking that took the time. Oh, that's for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't go away. Texas, here I come. I'll be all right with this painting. I think she likes me because she says so. She is the lily of Laguna. She is my lily. And the rose. What key are we doing at an A-flat? Hey, wake up, what's the matter? What are you dreaming about? No, I was just thinking about the last time I did this. For a female audience. Where was that? Uh, some of us gave a show for a lot of wrens down in Plymouth. Plymouth? Yeah, Plymouth. How about those dames in Plymouth, eh? Oh. There's one little blonde, petty officer. Keep talking, I'm listening. I never thought flat shoes and a sailor hat could send me up the wall, but... Look at those Mediterranean blue eyes. I was even thinking of marrying the kid. Ah, that's complications. Oh, you haven't lived yet. Have you ever been to Grimsby? I had a dish there oh, once. Come on, we got to show you. Frankie and Johnny were lovers. Oh, Lordy, how they could love. They swore to be true to each other. Just as true as the stars above, he was her man. But he done her wrong. Frankie and Johnny went walking. Johnny had on Ducks. a new suit. You know, Hank, old man, I'm all for Albert hitting the jackpot. I do think three haircuts in one week going a bit far. You should worry. I'm short of 24 eyebrows. But... Hey, Jeff. Yes? How will that do? Well, that's fine. Thanks, Bunker. Granted, a man. Cut any more off your brain that show through. I'll go and play with your cards. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Yep? Take a look at these. My kid did them. Think they're good, Jim? Think so. Think he's got something? <laughs> this one's supposed to be me. I love the ears. They look like rabbits. <laughs> There's a picture of him? Yeah. Just turned four. He's a husky-looking kid. Mm. Seems funny to have a kid you've never seen. I expect he'll be chucking me around when I get home. I have a letter from Allison. Oh, yeah. She sent me this. Had it taken specially? Very nice. See, she's wearing the ring. So she is. Oh, say, Albert's coming on fine, isn't he? When's the great day? Pretty soon, huh? Does, um, Allison know what you look like? I sent her sketches. I don't think it really matters to a woman what a man looks like. Just as well, huh? <laughs> you know, I can't work you two out at all. Writing away to each other must be four years now. Not bad for strangers. We stopped being another long while ago. And I'll throw netting a pair of socks for the Red Cross. It's going to be quite some day when you two meet for the first time ever. You know, there's one thing I'm most curious about. What's that? Her voice. Sometimes at night I, I hear it. It's 
especially when it's raining. It's deep, at the same time soft. I wonder what it's really like. Maybe you'll soon know. Yeah. Gonna marry her when you get back? Hmm? Allison. Yes. Yes, of course. How do you spell monotony? P O W. Ah, that's right enough. Who are short of? Only Bungo, sir. He's checking up on Schultz. How are you getting on behind there, you two? A couple of minutes, sir, and Albert will be with you. High time, too. You want us to think it'll work, sir? Well, it's ingenious and daring. Too daring, if you ask me. It's got to come out in full view of the guards at pretty close range, and I don't see any dummies standing up to that. Well, we'll have a chance to judge for ourselves in a minute. <laughs> Your wife's still stationed at Plymouth, Brennan? Uh, yes, sir. She runs the canteen in HMS Jessup. That's the shore base across the Sound, isn't it? That's it. Did I tell you she'd been promoted? No. What's her rank now? Chief Petty Officer. She's young for that, isn't she? 26. A ruddy kidnapper. It was her idea. Funny. I'd always meant to marry a brunette. Maybe you did. <laughs> Me, I like a many color. Come on, Roman. Okay, come on. What do we got? And a four. Four again. Yeah, That's four. it. Hello, seven. That's seven. 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 Okay. We're safe from Schultz tonight. Herman says he's out of camp. Good. And what's more, I know why, sir. He's got a bit of crackling in the village. Even a snake has a love life, huh? All set, sir, when you're ready. Okay, Craig? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead, Ainsworth. Hank Bunker, stand by the curtains, will you? Okay, fellas, come on. Let's see the big show. You know what they say down in Missouri? You've got to show me. I've got to see this. this I don't if we haven't got the gramophone this week, we could have had an overture. <laughs> That's not Bunker. Cut off! Well, what do you know? <laughs> As large as life and twice as natural. Have a drag, Albert. Nice work, Jeff. After the war, you come to Hollywood. We've got just the job there for you, making the stars look like people. <laughs> Let's have a closer view of him, Angela. Put him in the chair, Jeff. Smoke. Isn't that wonderful? Really great. Where's his wit? Now, Albert, make yourself at home. Yeah, Albert. Just make yourself comfortable. Well, sir, what do you think? Yes. Yes, I think he'd pass muster. What about you, Brennan? With a bit of luck, yes, sir. Henry? How on earth you make his legs work? Psychology. Eh? Did you see them moving? Well, no. Well, oh, that's it. They don't. They just dangle. No one ever looks at feet in a crown. Well, that's true enough. What about you, Adams? I'm sold. I'll swear he winked at me. <laughs> I'm quite proud of his eyes. Made from the two halves of a ping pong ball. So that's Good. where it went. Look out. School is coming. What do we do? Get rid of him. Now, stand fast, all of you. Yeah, that's an idea. Let's try him out. Panic stations. Okay, you're over there. Wait, let's go. Mail up, everybody. Oh, good you're reading, Danny Brown. For the discontented ass. One for Lieutenant Erickson. Thank you. Nothing for you, Texas. Two for you, sir. Thank you. Six for Lieutenant Reed. Thank One you. for Lieutenant Ainsworth. Excuse me. Just one of his spells. He's often like this in the evenings. He's doing his yoga. Leave him alone. Oh. Oh. Well, we're getting along. Um, see you later, sir. Right, well. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. well, congratulations, Ainsworth. Yeah, yeah. But you still haven't explained how you get him out to the bathhouse. That's easy, sir. Okay, Jim? Yep. Oh, this Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is to it, sir. Well, we'll have a committee meeting in the morning and set a date. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night sir. Hey, did you hear what he said? Pass with honors. Nice work, Jeff. Come on, let's set him up again, huh? Fair enough. Hey, just look at those eyes. You've got little red veins in them. Yeah, he's been hitting the bottle a bit, I think. Eye strain. He's an accountant. He's been busy cooking the books all night. No, 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 no. no. He's a songwriter. Eyes full of soul. Liver, I think. I still say he's an intellectual. No, with hair like that, he's bound to be a violinist. What do you say, Jeff? Well, if we'd all seen him the same way, I'd be wearing, but now I know I've got it. Got what? The character I wanted. A complete non-entity, Mr. Nobody and Mr. Everybody. Well, there's no such person. Oh, isn't there? The world's full of Alberts. Have you ever been in a bus or tube and seen them, sitting in their rows, all turned out in the same assembly line? Look at him, clueless. Never moves unless you push him. Doesn't have to think. Make decisions, no confusion, no frustration. 
No worries. It's all worked out for him. He just falls into line. The final product of the modern world. There he sits, the truly free man. You call that free? Not where I come from. For my money, you might as well be dead. Don't worry, I was, I was only thinking. Actually, I made him that way so the goons wouldn't remember his face. Well, here's to Albert, the most forgettable character I ever met. Don't be too hard on him, Jeff. After all, he's the guy who's going to get you out of here. Yes, we'll have to start getting clothes and money and papers together for you. Which route are you taking, Jeff? North or south? I don't know. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, but you better stow him right away. He's been hanging around here long enough. You do it. It's good practice for you. What's with him? Uh, temperament. Am I butting in on anything? No, Jim. You'll be used to the idea by morning. What idea? At any moment now, you'll be lambing out of here. What makes you think I'm going? Well, that's why you made Albert, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so. Jeff, you do want to get out of here, don't you? I'll go when my turn comes. Sure, but you're first. It's an unwritten law. It's also an unwritten law that we share and share alike. I made Albert for the room. Just try telling them that in there. Sorry, chaps, I think it's a great idea, but I'd rather one of you tried it out first. Now you're being ridiculous. Am I? You and most of the others have got something to go back for. Or someone. I haven't. I never had time to be anything or do anything much. But you're an artist. What about your work? I can do that anywhere. Oh, don't give me that. Nothing worthwhile was ever born in a bag, Jeff. And that goes for art, too. Besides, there's, there's Allison. That's different. We never had anything to miss, so we don't miss it. Oh, no, that's not it. And you know it. You're afraid, Jeff. You've lived so long in a dream that you just can't face up to reality. Here you've got a chance to get out and find out what she's really like, and you're shying away from it. No, I'm not, Jim. No? Then there's only one way of proving it. Get going and get out of here. That's life out there, Jeff. Don't crab me, Jim. Give me time. <coughs> okay, okay. Oh, come on. Let's get out of here before the goons start using us for target practice. I've got everything on, including my Mae West, and I'm still cold. Good old Mae. She saved my life at Anzio, but I didn't figure I'd have to sleep with her for the rest of my life. Just how many more times do you have to crack that one? Just every night. Yeah. I said, Jeff. Jeff. Hmm? Don't forget to send me the menu from carriages with all you had ticked off. Why on the wine list, of course? I want to drool. Don't forget this look at the war on back there. <laughs> I still drink that, then. I used to go to a little pub outside Plymouth, up on the moor. I used to take honey there. The wheat sheep? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Afterwards, we used to walk out down through the heather. Man, her hair had shine like gold in the moonlight. Brother, look at that. Soulful Siegfried must be on tonight. Close the dunk or somebody. Oh, let him look. Poor guy's sex star, just like the rest of us. If you're also damn keen to get home, why don't we do something about it? Listen to who's talking, the lucky guy. We've always had a like in this room, haven't we? Shut up, Jeff. That's why I wanted to be with Albert. What's that? You mean to say you want us to draw for him? Why not? Give me the cards, Hank. Jeff, are you crazy? But Albert's your idea, man. You've got to have fast go off. There's a card for everyone, the highest wins. Don't do it, Jeff. You'll change your mind in the morning. That's the way he wants it. Let him have it. Ace card's high. Take one. Where's yours? I hope this makes you very happy. Come on, fellas. Let's get on the merry-go-round. Yeah, sure. Lucky the winner coming out. I'm very lucky to be here for years. Ready, chaps? Close the dunkles, Jeff. Yes? School is here, sir. All right, carry on. I must remind you that this is top secret and must not be discussed outside this room. Here is the BBC 9 o'clock news. Last night, the RAF carried out the heaviest raid yet made on Berlin. Over 2,300 tons of bombs were dropped. 26 of our aircraft failed to return. During the day, American heavy bombers again attacked objectives in western Germany. Fifty-six German fighters were destroyed. 
For the fourth month in succession, the number of U-boats sunk exceeded that of merchant vessels lost by enemy action. Speaking at the Mansion House this afternoon, Mr. Churchill said that before the leaves of autumn fall, liberation will be at hand. Good night, chaps. Good night, Scully. Good night, Scully. Scully. If anybody's interested, I drew the ace of spades. Aston, Aston. Officers of Hut 4, partaking of baths to parade at Come in. Eight immediately. Ah, Erickson, you all set? That's right, sir. But before leaving, I'd like to make one last request. Uh-huh. I see this drawing Jeff made of me. Would you take care of it, please? And in case anything happens, make sure it reaches my next of kin. Oh, certainly. I wrote her address down on the back of her picture here. Marlene Fraser. Next of kin? Well, you know, almost. <laughs> well, I hope you make it. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I thought I'd be going out of here in a straight jacket. How's it going? Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Well, don't let Albert talk him out of it. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, boys. It's time to go. Good luck, boys. So long. I'll write you a letter. The worst of it. Achtung, Achtung. Here is a special announcement given out by the Führer's headquarters in Berlin. In reprisal for British and American terror bombing of German women and children, large forces of the Luftwaffe attacked strategic targets in Britain last night. The ports of Southampton, Plymouth, and Liverpool were left in smoldering ruins. Those ruins still smoldering. <laughs> Step firm, left, please. Fire, march. Fire long, halt. Dreißig Mann, Herr Feldwebel. I see. No, no. Oh! Oh! sign of them yet. Take it easy, sir. It's assembling, Albert, that bothers me, you know. 
that and getting him out of the bathhouse, of course. Well, they've rehearsed it enough. Well, they'll make it all right. I don't envy Fred at this moment. Don't you, Henry? They are right. I do. Ship shape, Ainsworth? Went through without a hitch, sir. Well done. I hate to do it again tomorrow, though. Me too. It was the last party of the day, so Fred could take his time getting out. Yes, it'll be evening roll call in a minute. Well, we'll have him in the middle file, sir. It should work out all right. Well, try and keep it up for a week. That'll give Erickson a real chance. Uh, that Fred's a lucky guy. Tonight he'll be sleeping out under the stars. Fetch up in a women's labor camp, more likely. <laughs> if he does, he'll be there for the duration. Frederica, the most popular girl in camp. With any luck, he should be in Lubeck tomorrow looking for a ship. Hey, poor old Albert. You guys ever think that when we're all out of here, he'll be left alone holding the fort? Listen, gentlemen, let's face it. Any plan, even the best of them, depends to a great extent on luck. If Erickson gets through, he'll have used up a lot of it. Albert will fall in on roll, call every day for a week to give Erickson a fair chance. After that, Albert will go into dry dock for a spell. Dry dock? Well, for how long? A month at least. A month? That's a lifetime. I'm sorry, you must try to be patient. 
Why do we have to be patient? I said a month, Norton. That's orders. Yes, sir. I wonder what Schultz is going to do, blow up or burst into flames. Look at the old man's face. He can't wait to tell them. Yeah, it's all right for him. He knows he's got to stay here. You'll get your chance to go. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not waiting. I'm going to go right through that wire. No girl's worth it. Not even one in a sailor hat. I felt able, and I failed. I'm on his back, Capitaine. Uh, Capitaine, I'm happy to inform you that we're one man short today. I'm sorry to hear that, Herr Capitaine. How's that? Amtsturmführer. <laughs> Mike starts the school next term. Who? Come on, snap out of it, Jeff. You'll get a letter next mail. You know darn well I won't. I don't. Why shouldn't you? Because you stopped writing, that's why. I haven't had a line for over a month. Well, that doesn't mean anything. There must be a lot of mail that's gone west in the rate. Oh, I should have known you. When it happened, there was nothing else she could do but just not write. But what happened? And she found someone else. Oh, come off it, Jeff. Why not, Jimmy? It had to happen sooner or later. Well, don't talk drivel after she's waited for four years for you. That's just it. Four years. And I'm still here. And he's there. She never even set eyes on me. Well, what are you going to do about it? What do you expect me to do? Put in for compassionate leave? Ah. Oh! I say, Jeff, do you know... Someone in room falls just off a bit 5,000 cigarettes for Albert. Why? Well, how did he find out about it? Well, I don't know. Found to leak out sometime, I suppose. Too good a story not to. What did you say? I just told him I didn't know anyone of that name. I was a stranger around here. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're having the next draw as soon as the match is over. Yeah, I know. We're coming right over. <laughs> well, jolly good luck. See you in prison. All right, I know. Maybe I'll win the draw. Why well, wait for the draw? Why not just step up and claim your right to Albert? It's too late for that, Jim. I can't go along now and say, Albert works, Fred proved it. My turn, please. You know, Jeff, the trouble with you is you dream up a situation that needs facing. And then you give yourself all the reasons for not facing it. That's not true, isn't it? All right, supposing you won the draw. Would you go? What's the use of supposing? It's one chance in eight. Would you go? Yes. Yes, I'd go. Come in. Yes, sir. Come in. Oh, what is it, Reed? It's time for the draw on Albert, sir. All fixed, eh? Yes, sir. There's a cross on every slip. It's a lot to ask of any man to give up his chance of freedom. You sure they're all willing? I think so, sir. I, I've talked to them all. One or two weren't very keen on the idea, but I think I've convinced them. In Texas? I don't think he'll let us down, sir. All right. <clears throat> Let's get going. Well, how did the game go? Match abandoned, sir. Hank hit the ball through the wire. That's what paid to the 1944 League Finals, anyway. Eight slips. All right, who's first? First as good as last. No go. Better look next time. So I say farewell to Malak Fumch. She's been a happy ship. She better be, because I'm still going to be here. Texas, here I come. But not this trip. Oh, well. Hampstead will still be there. What about you, Jeff? Well, take it to Montreal and return. Bongo, it looks like you. Well, I'll send you a scorecard from Lord's. No? Well, somebody will send me one. Well, who's got it? Well, somebody must have won it. Have another look. 
I have it. Nice work. Good work, Jeff. Good work. Glad you made it, Ainsworth. We'll have the clothes and papers laid on. On the best of luck. Thank you, sir. It's about time you had some luck. Yeah. I wouldn't say no to a ticket to London, buzz bombs and all. Let's get Albert out and give him a run through. Good idea. Hank, you could take Jeff's place in the drill. Cutter, you stood, John. Huh? Wait a minute. I've got a ticket for sale. Does anybody want to buy it? My chance on Albert's the highest bidder. Jeff, are you crazy? Well, oh, come on. What am I bid? No, there's nothing in the whole camp worth a chance on Albert. I'll take the highest offer. Okay, I'll give him my chronometer for it. Good, do I get a better bid? Oh, Jeff, for God's sake. And 200 cigarettes. Can anyone beat that? No? Then going, going, Can gone. Come here, Sold to the gentleman from Texas. And what exactly has been sold? My chance on Albert's the highest bidder, sir. There it is, and it's all mine. And I'm sorry, the deal's off. But I made him, I can do what I like with him, sir. Oh, no, you can't, Ainsworth. You're just one man, but you've got to think of the whole camp. Albert is our way out, not a ruddy prize on the black market. Hand him back that slip. I'm sorry, Norton, but that's the way it is. Ainsworth, on Thursday, when we go to the bars, see that you have everything ready. Aye, aye, sir. Bell has sounded. Mm. I heard it. But I'm not hungry. Are you sick? I'm sick of sauerkraut and skilly. I see you still have your chronometer, Lieutenant Norton. Yeah. You are better off without it. Oh? How come? You count the minutes, that is bad. It only makes them pass more slowly. Yeah, it could be. Come, I'm interested. What would you take for it? There's only one thing I want. That's to get out of here. Well, let us remain in the realm of the possible. This camp is escape proof. Is it? What about Fred Erickson? He made it, didn't he? Did he? You know darn well he did. I know what I know. Now, uh, let us go business. You want some schnapps? I only drink bourbon. Well, you can trade with it. A bottle a week for so many weeks. I don't intend to stay here and rot. You have no alternative, my friend. Haven't I? I'll have it your own way. Wait a minute. You'd like this chronometer, wouldn't you? Well. You can have it in exchange for a little cooperation. Cooperation? You control the lights at the wire, don't you? Very so. Well, they could fail, couldn't they? When? The next time we have an air raid? If you insist on committing suicide, that is your affair. Thank you, sir. Aston, Aston, special announcement. By order of the Commandant, all officers will assemble on the parade ground immediately. Bastard. I'll never finish this book. I've plenty of time. Schultz on the warpath again, I'll bet. I wonder what charming idea he's thought up this time. John, Joe. Sorry. Go on. Hey, what's the matter? You saw it at me. of a prison officer are not always pleasant. There are times, however, when we should forget that we are enemies and join in common sorrow. Captain Maddox, 
have the sad duty to bring you the remains of your comrade, Lieutenant Frederick Erickson of Hollywood, America, who escaped from this camp last month and was captured by the Gestapo at Lübeck. I have a certificate. He was shot by the resisting arrest. Let me see it. He will be accorded the same treatment as though he fell honorably on the field of battle. Seems in order. Here in this casket are his ashes. The funeral will take place at noon tomorrow. And uh, please accept this wreath. With sympathy from the Wehrmacht and Kriegsmarine. Captain Maddox, I salute a brave man, but a foolish one. That's all. You may dismiss the company. Boy, oh boy. Hamburg's certainly making it hot for them tonight, huh? How many planes do you think there are, Jim? 500, maybe. Maybe more. What? Standing in the middle of Hampstead Heath with near lights around your perimeter. Oh well, that's odd. What? Foundry lights are gone out. I've never done that before. You was a jittery tonight. Bruise up. Let's have some lights. Come on, close those duct tapes. Right above us. Well, no one presses a button up there by mistake. Well, what's the matter? If your number's up, it's up wherever you are. That's the way I look at it. I guess you're right. If it's a direct hit, you're just as dead whether you're in a dugout or a flimsy hut. Sounds like one of ours in a hurry. Factory's gin and our women. So what? He's done a good job, hasn't he? He'll be headed that way tomorrow. And I'll be there waiting for you. What's the idea? Come off, I'm getting out. Wish me luck. Where are you going, kid? Through the wire, the way Fred planted, only I got influence. But we haven't given you clearance. Ha! Ah, laugh that one off. I get mine when I'm through. You're mad, Tex. Not yet, but I will be if I stay here waiting for my chance on Albert. God's sake, Tex, wait! Listen. You forget I'm a Texan. You can't fence them in. They gotta get up and go. Don't be a bloody You've gotta stop him. Let him go. He's got a chance at his own. He's right, Hank. Let him be. Don't so laugh. second wave. Come on, Henry, you old praying mantis. If you got any routines, let's have them now. Oh, God, our Father, with whom all things are possible. Give this poor kid a break. Stretch out your hand to protect him. The boundary lights come on yet. Not yet, thank God. Maybe that's what he meant by influence. We've lost him in the shadows. The lights go on now. He hasn't got a chance. Yes, this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. What's going on here? It's Texas, sir. He's trying to get through the wire, sir. Right. 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 All right, action stations. Create a diversion. Oh, Close those doors. Hey!
he was happy enough, playing his guitar, boasting about his rent, until I made Albert. And he decided counting the days, then the hours, then the minutes, until he couldn't wait any longer. There hadn't been an Albert there. Jeff, listen to me. Albert had nothing to do with it. Hadn't he? What about Fred? He died with Albert's blessing. Now, take it easy, Ainsworth. Erickson took a chance. No plan of escape guarantees safe conduct to the border. He just had bad luck. Bad luck. As for young Norton, his escape was illegal. If he comes back alive, he'll face a court martial for disobeying orders. I beg to inform your captain that one of your officers, Lieutenant Norton, has been killed while attempting to escape. There will, of course, be an inquiry. I would remind you, gentlemen, that the record of Marla Trinf remains unblemished. This camp is still escape proof. I lift up. I'll never know. I'll never know. Get up and go. Poor kid. You'll have never made it. All right, that's enough. Ainsworth. Yes, sir. You will escape tomorrow morning through Albert, as planned. Yes, sir. Any sign of them yet, Brennan? No, sir. Well, I hope he'll make it. He's been here long enough. We all have, for that matter. Perhaps you'll be lucky next time. Everything all right at home, Brennan? Yes, sir. Thank you. Bad luck last night, young Norton. You didn't like him very much, did you? No. He said rather a curious thing last night, just after he was shot. What will you never know, Brennan? Look, Joe, how long have we known each other? Twenty-five years? About that, yes. I remember us scrubbing decks together. I'm still the same bloke, you know, in spite of all this. Can't I help you? I don't want to pry into your business. It was her, I know it was. It was my Mary. What? The woman he was always talking about. They had an affair, he said so. Are you sure of this? Of course I'm sure. I might have known. She was young and pretty. What proof have you got? Proof? I've no proof. That's what's sending me round the bend. I'm sure of it, but I'll never really know. Well, listen, Joe. Exactly what evidence have you got that Norton's girlfriend was your wife? Enough. In the Rand, stationed at Plymouth, working in the canteen, young, fair, pretty. It was her, all right. But good heavens, man, there must be dozens of Rand stationed at Plymouth who answer that description. Maybe. But this was my Mary. I know it. You mean you've made up your mind to it? Ah! You like. What was that? Hold that back. Out, 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 Wegmarschieren! Abteilung! Vorwärts! Arsch! Well? All correct, sir. Went like clockwork. Good, that's marvelous. We must be getting pretty good at it now, after all this practice. Albert's even learning to wash behind the ears. Sit down, you worry it. There, now, who's got a cigarette for me? Oh, not a gap. I'll suffer. It's 20 minutes since we left. Thanks, Paul. Yes, he should be in the woods by now. Lucky old devil. Good morning, gentlemen. Dear Verunkamp.
Room count? What for? To make sure everyone is back from the bathhouse. Now, if you please. Oh, well, if you insist. Now, look, have you got a pencil? No. Well, boys, Herman hasn't got a pencil. Oh, oh, oh give it on the Yeah, There you are, Herman. Thank you. He was appointed him. <laughs> right. Well, I'll call them out and you check them, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Craig? Aye, sir. Adams? Yes, sir. Brennan? Yes, sir. Dawson? Aye, sir. Reed? Yes, sir. Barton? Yes, sir. Painsworth? Sir? And myself. Well, you satisfied? Yeah, yeah. All of them satisfied. <laughs> That's all right, then. This man was found in the bathhouse by two guards returning to the camp. What happened, Ainsworth? I had a bit of bad luck, sir. So it seems. Herman, warum habe ich keine Meldung, dass dieser Mann nicht da war? Ich bin gerade erst fertig geworden mit der Erzählung, Hauptsturmführer. Geben Sie mir die Wette. So you had a bit of bad luck, huh? Yes. Pity, wasn't it? Yeah, tough. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun. Right, then enter this mark as present. Why? The count was correct, Hauptsturmführer. That cannot be. Eight names on the list and nine men. We have one more prisoner than we have. Who is here? Who is not here? Answer! Come on. Who is in the commandant? Jawohl, Hauptsturmführer. A strip search, my Herrn. You will all line up against your bunks. You then, the chair. Stand up. Come on, a man, you heard what Uncle Schultz said. He's not feeling very well today. Either. No, he isn't. Doesn't look too well, either. Take it easy, pal. Get up, I said. Oh, well, let's give him a hand yeah. up, shall we? Is he feeling any better? Yeah, he's pretty easy. 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 Yeah. What's the matter with that man? Schultz! Stop bullying us, will you? Because you've got a gun in your hand, you think you're another bloody Hitler! What did you say? Why don't you put that gun down? Let's see how much of a man you are. Do not provoke me. You daren't, you filthy, murdering, degenerate swine. I'm going to fight them, sir. Sir Albert. Hit him. Yeah, 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 let's go, Jeff. Go, go on, get him, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Keep him on. Back in. Fuck it, Jeff. Come on, 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 Jeff. Come Planning to escape. Can you get up? You all right, Ainsworth? I'm all right, sir. What is all this nonsense about from prisoner to many? He is the list, Herr Kapitän. Eight names, eight men. Where's the discrepancy? A moment ago, there were nine. Isn't that so? Idiot, non alibi, they're wasting my time. You will leave this matter to me, Schultz. Heil Hitler. The Kapitän, please accept my apologies. Take this man to the hospital, then to the bunker, to await his hearing. Jawohl, Herr Kapitän. Good morning, Herr Kapitän. Good morning. Nice work, Ainsworth. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, let's relax, shall we? Oh, well, well, let's never a dull moment. What a Brennan. Sir. Can you spare me a minute? Come in. Come in, Joe. Sit down. Thank you, sir. They sent young Norton's effects over this afternoon. I've just been going through them. I found a picture in this wallet. I think you ought to see it. No. 
And why not? I'd better face up to it and get it over. Suspicion's a poor bedfellow. I don't want to know. I think you've got to. To Texas from his own honey. February 1944. She's young, she's fair, she's pretty. Look. No. Listen, Joe. You've got to look at this photograph. If it isn't your wife, you've been worrying yourself silly for nothing. If it is her, then you're no worse off than you are now. Better, in fact, because you know exactly where you are. Come on now. I can't. You tell me. Honey was not your wife. Oh. Texas was right. She's quite pretty. Alice in order, you will have to go. to be happy, Lord Nardensburg. I was, until a moment ago. Stand up and you speak to me. Take your hands out of your pockets. Being an artist is no excuse for slovenliness. Filth. Decadent filth. What's the matter, Schultz? Did she let you down again tonight? I'm not that much of a fool. You could hardly shoot me for attempting to escape from here, could you? Perhaps you're right. There are better users for a bullet. Come. Let us talk business. Just what are you after? I wish to know how it was the Count could be correct at the bathhouse, at the main gate, and in the room. Quite a blow to your pride, wasn't it? There's no harm in telling me now. Come, I'll make a bargain with you. You're pretty good at making bargains, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. But not so good at keeping them. What do you mean? Does your new watch keep good time? Watch? Or should I say, chronometer. An American airman's chronometer. The one I saw young Texas give you. Do you suggest that Did I... Did he love you so much that he gave it to you? Or was it a bargain? That is enough. A bargain and let him get through the wire, was that it? Except that you didn't let him get through the wire. He was shot while attempting to escape. Attempting to escape. Murdered, you mean? You fooled him into trusting you and shot him in cold blood. Your confinement has surely deranged your mind. I don't think so. That's what happened, Schultz, wasn't it? Well, what if it did? What are you going to do about it? When the war's won, I'm going to see you hanged. I, too, will warn you. The war will still be long. And we shall have to bear with one another for quite some time yet. There will be changes. You will not find your camp so comfortable in future. In fact, when I have finished with you, you'll wish you'd never been born. All of you. This is the third day and it still hasn't stopped raining. Might just as well be in England. <laughs> I say, listen to this, chaps. Cousin Tony has been taken prisoner and is in Starlag 8B. His mother says, can you pop round and see him? Well, the old girl must be cracking. It's my week up already. Yes, time flies, doesn't it? Actually, you've had an extra three and a half minutes. Oh, thank you. Here you are, chap. So we say farewell to that old Irish mother of yours. Listen, how about this? Paul Basil has been sent to Canada and is very homesick. Can you write and cheer him up? <laughs> Poor old Basil. Speaking of cheering people up, Jeff's due out of the bunker today. That's right. Say, how about ringing up old Albert to welcome him? Not a bad idea. Where's the head? Good, he's got it. They will reckon they want to see Albert. I don't see why not. No. Maybe Fred in Texas could tell you. Now, wait a minute, Hank. Why? Albert didn't help that much, did he? Well, that wasn't Jeff's fault. When it came to his turn, he didn't do so good either. Whatever he did or whatever he didn't do, I say we should forget all about it. And for once, Joseph, I agree with you. Thank you, Henry. Okay, that goes for Albert, too. You're better off without him. He was just a gag that didn't work. 
All the same, it was rather fun drawing lots for him. You got a kick out of it, even if you lost. Just like buying a ticket in the early sweepstakes. Yeah, on a clothes horse. And the odds were just about as good. Hank, that's not true. Albert was a great idea, and you know it. Albert was a jinx. Two men dead and one funked it. What's so great about that? Why, hello, Jeff. Glad to see you back, mate. Yeah, nice to see you, old boy. Let's have a look at you. All right, I funked it. Oh, come on, Jeff. Skip it. Another time, Jeff. No, no, do you mind? After 30 days solitary, it's a luxury to talk. You made a mistake. It was just bad luck. Jeff, forget it. We have. There seem good reasons at the time for waiting. They always do. Now I know they were just excuses. Hank's right, I funked it. But provided that's quite clear, let's go from there. Oh, hello, Angel. I thought I heard your voice. Nice to have you back. Thank you, sir. Well, what sort of a tie do they give you? Not too bad, sir. Good. I expect you want to settle down. I'll see you later. Oh, by the way, these letters came for you. Oh, thank you, sir. The one from Allison must have gone adrift. You amaze me. <laughs> Wish to see me, Captain? Yes. I want to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, I'm afraid so. You mean you're leaving us? Tomorrow morning I hand over my command. I see. Then may I say on behalf of all of us here that we shall be very sorry to see you go. We've appreciated your efforts to, uh, to entertain us and your difficulties. Thank you. I've tried to be fair. I've not forgotten that I, too, am a naval officer. Goodbye. When we meet again, I hope it'll be in happier surroundings. Thank you. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know who the new Commandant's going to be? Yes. Hauptsturmführer Schulz. Was not of my choosing. Schultz. I'd buy a ticket home now, eh? Oh, cheer up, chaps. The war will be over by Christmas. Oh, don't spoil it. Just can't wait to see Schultz or Santa Claus. Anybody got a spare letter card? Uh, yes, sir, I have. Oh, thank you. Sir, I'd, I'd like to make a request. Yes? I wish to claim my right to escape through Albert. Well, anybody any objections? Then it's agreed. Well, well, well. So now you can't wait to kiss us all goodbye. Times change. Officers of HUD 4 partaking of baths to parade at the gate immediately. Rainsworth? Yes, sir. just a minute. Ainsworth, I'd be very grateful if you do something for me when you get home. I wonder if you go down and see my wife. Of course I will, sir. You will? Well, thanks very much. There's the address. Learn it and destroy it. She'll be very glad to see you. She's been finding it a bit lonely since... since we lost our other boy. Oh, no. Yes, I heard last week. His first ship. Is there any message I can give us? No. No, just tell her about us and say that nothing's changed. And good luck. Thank you, sir. Well, don't thank me. It's you we have to thank for Albert. He's more than just paint and paper, you know. He's our refusal to accept all this. Don't worry, we'll take great care of him. I know you will, sir. Goodbye. Bye, sir. I will inspect them. Jawohl, Hauptschirmführer. What have you got in there? Just things for the bath.
chocolate for the bath. Here, it gives me an appetite. It's confiscated. Oh, Joe, uh, did you bring that soap? Yes, I did. Good. Open it. Look here, that's my personal property, sent to me by the British Red Cross. For consumption inside the camp. For consumption anywhere. Go back to your room. Your bath is stopped. Stopped? Well, I'm absolutely filthy. Go back. All right. It's long, chaps. Clot. Things will be a little different now. There will be no more of these foolish games. <laughs> you will not smile tomorrow. <laughs> Any of you. In autumn. Los. Hope we had it. Good old Bongo. March! Like Hamburg's getting it again. I hope Jeff's not around. Ah, but then he'd like to be miles beyond Hamburg by now. Mm, we've made it this time. You know, the old hut's getting quite spacious. We won't know ourselves soon. We will tomorrow when Schultz gets through with us. Lucky old Jeff. You still can't figure that guy. No, and you never will. What was that? Skip it. What seemed funny without the old basket? Anyway, we've still got Albert. Good old Albert, the ideal roommate. All right. Well, we've got him. We've got hope. Thanks to Jeff. If he keeps going, you ought to make Lubeck by dawn. Waiting for you, Schultz. How did you get here? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? I waited a long time for this moment. that your escape remains undiscovered for one week. You won't be there to arrange it. I will sign an order that will give you safe conduct. I already have one. No. No, you will not shoot. You shot Texas. You are not me. You have not the courage. Let me go back to the camp now and I... No, Schultz. You're not going back there ever. You must be covered. Stay where you are. Somebody's unloading! 